Hey everyone, Desiree here. So in this video, it's kind of an impromptu. I was flipping through this self-care planner and this is what it looks like. I picked this up from Goodwill about a month ago and I was flipping through it and decided to turn on the camera because um, I did have one question about it, about the layout and, you know, kind of what's inside. So maybe I'll go ahead and do a quick flip through. Uh, got my Moterm Traveler's Notebook here. I'll move that out of the way because I am still working through that. But as it relates to this self-care planner, it's really interesting. But at the same time, I'm, I'm not quite sure if I would use it specifically for self-care. Because the way it's laid out, um, it's kind of like a goal planner in one aspect. So you know what? Let me start from the beginning here. So we've got the self-care assessment. So you have a key here. Rarely, sometimes, often does not apply to me. And then it has some things that talk, you know, it kind of lists some things, I should say, as it relates to your overall well-being, physical, social, emotional, and spiritual. And that's kind of the four pillars as it relates to, I'm guessing, how this planner is laid out. There's also a self-care map. So we have relaxation, health, connection, rejuvenation, comfort, and expression. Then it has a self-care cheat sheet, set recurring self-care acts. So I guess how often? Once a year, every month, every week, every day. So you can totally make one of these yourself. You can just get a blank notebook and kind of figure out exactly what you need in order to feel whole, complete, well-rested, um, cared for, I guess even. Create your vision of balance as it relates to work or school, spirituality, fun and recreation, and mental health. So I do like that. So... There's prompts in here for you to design your ideal routine. Then you have monthly intentions. So it looks like you have the 12 months at the front of the planner. And this is cute, a self-care challenge. Do something this month to support a charity, public radio station, podcast, or nonprofit that you love. I do like that. And then it gives you a place to write monthly intentions. Well-being, work, relationships, recreation, finances, spirituality. Okay, so let's get into, then you have daily pages. And this is an undated planner. And I'm hoping that um, you guys can see this. So here's today. It gives you space to write the actual date at the top. Then you have a schedule from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m., a space for evening, your top goal to do, self-care, water, meals, exercise, and I am grateful for. So I love the layout of this. You can also track the day of the week here. And I'm not sure how many pages this is. I'm going to guess it's probably like a quarterly thing because it doesn't look like this is for the whole year. Yeah, I'm going to say maybe this is a quarterly planner. They may have covered that in the little beginning here, but I didn't read it word for word. But I just wanted to kind of flip through this on camera so I can give you guys some ideas of how this planner is laid out. And if you are interested in maybe creating your own, then you can see what are the things that are included in this one so you can include it in your own notebook. You know, I know many of us have created self-care planners and self-care notebooks, you know, throughout the years. And it's kind of nice that someone has done the work for you. But again, you know, I think all of us have different preferences and ideas of what, you know, self-care means to us. So you can see kind of, you know, how, I guess how it's structured or, you know, what, um, you know, what to include. Maybe some of these things don't apply to you, so you don't have to include them. Like the meals here, it has a space for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but I don't eat three meals a day. I usually eat just one or two meals a day. 
And so I really wish that this was not here. I'd rather just have this be a blank note section. But again, that's me. So that's what the planner looks like. Um, it was made in Los Angeles, simpleself.co. If you are interested in seeing this online or maybe buying this one specifically. And then at the end, it looks like it has an end assessment. And you can kind of check things off here, answer these questions, and see how you did. All right, so that's going to be it for this quick video. Like I said, I was flipping through this and decided to turn on the camera and, you know, figured why not share because I know, like I said, I had one question about this planner, and so maybe somebody else was curious as well. So, all right, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.